Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use the Native Instruments ROM Reverb in Cakewalk for free. Check out the link at the end of this video for my tutorial on how to get your free copy of ROM. Now double click on the Native Access shortcut. Scroll down to ROM. and click on Install. You can click on the three dots to see where it has been installed to. Now open Cakewalk. At startup, you should see this message that Cakewalk detected ROM. Now open a project or create a new one. If the mixer pane is closed, click on the console tab. Then click on insert. Click on stereo bus. Double click on the stereo bus name then type in Reverb. Now click on the Plugins tab and click on Audio Effects, then double click on Reverb. Then drag ROM to the stereo bus you named Reverb. Now click on a track. The track appears in the left pane. Now click on the plus icon in the Sends section. And click on Reverb on the pop-up menu. When Post is on, moving the volume slider changes the amount of signal sent to the reverb bus. When post is off, the signal sent to the reverb bus is fixed at the 0 dB level. Press on the level knob and drag up to increase the signal level sent to the reverb bus. or drag down to reduce the signal level sent to the reverb bus. When you click on the reverb stereo bus, the bus also appears in the left pane. ROM appears in the FX section. If the ROM window is closed, you can open it by clicking on ROM in the FX section. You can create your own reverb setup by changing the knob positions in the ROM window. Or you can use one of the presets. Click on the drop list. Click on Factory Presets, click on Medium, 
Then click on Damped Vocal Plate. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. Here is a quick run through of the controls. Feedback sets how many reflection cycles there are. Pre delay sets how quickly the reverb is added to the sound source. Low cut removes low frequency reflections. High cut removes high frequency reflections. Reverb sets how loud the reverb is. Diffusion sets how much the reflections blend into each other. Size sets how long the reflections are. Decay sets how quickly the reflections fade in volume. Modulation sets how much the reflections vary in frequency. Damp sets how much the high frequency reflections are reduced in length. Mix sets how much of the original sound and how much of the reverb sound you can hear. There is also three modes. Grounded, which is a room style reverb. Airy, which is a hall style reverb. And Cosmic, which is a zero gravity style reverb. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. It's a slippery rope we slide. Slide on down. It's a slippery rub we slide, slide on down. Finally, we have this freeze icon. If you click on it, it will capture the current slice of reverb and continue to play that slice in a loop until you click to turn it off. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.